We got theories on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube sent over by you guys that are gonna make us question reality. Again, shout out to everyone that's been sending over videos. I got like a kick of excitement because I was scrolling through and I have so much videos. I really am trying to figure out if I'm ever gonna to get to the bottom of this list, but I'm not skipping anyone's videos, I'll tell you that. So please send over your videos. Add the Discord, the link is in the description. But without further ado, we are gonna go ahead and get into today's reaction video. Thank you, DeAndre, for the video. Well, let me bring you up to speed. Folks, central bank digital currencies are now live in 11 countries across the globe. There's a war going on outside, no man is safe from. All right, so this is from the Atlantic Council. It's underneath the description of our video, underneath the sources. You can filter any country and uh, click on any country and get all the CBDC info you need. CBDC is now live in Nigeria. CBDC is now live in Jamaica, in the Bahamas, in Grenada, where my family's from, hmm. and in seven other nations in the Eastern Caribbean bloc. In short, they are being tested on black developing nations. I Currently, noticed. If Jane wants to buy makeup from Sephora, Jane will use cash, debit, or credit all transactions of which are completely private. Only Jane and her institutions can see or view those transactions. With a CBDC, Jane's transactions are no longer private. At any time, Jane's government can view Jane's transactions. Financially speaking, she is no longer a private citizen. Here's how we can stop mm. CBDCs from being implemented. Simply sharing the information with family and friends goes further than you know. Having a bad opinion about CBDCs goes further than you know, because if we are aware of what's going on around the world with it, then we're better equipped to fight against it once it comes ashore. The Bank of Canada has actually opened up a portal that will be open, I believe, till June 19th. So it's a very short window where they're actually taking public consultations and public opinion about the issue. There's a war going on outside. No man is safe from. Mob Deep was right. Thank you, Miss Harris, for the video. I can't believe I sat through a school safety meeting today and we went over alien invasion protocols, procedures. What to do, there's an alien invasion. Dang. Our county really gave us procedures for that. And honestly, I did not process anything that was said during that part of the presentation because I could not believe going over what it. I was looking at. Like, anybody else out there? Get alien invasion protocols. What to do with your students if there's an alien invasion? Just mine? Okay. <laughs> she looks stressed out. This fell out of my burger. Thought it was mail until I seen it moving. What is this? What is that? Thank you for the video, Bino. Nigeria is just a name that the British like threw on to the amalgamation of a bunch of different tribes there that destabilized the region and mm. led to a genocide and a holocaust of the Igbo people. Um, where in mm. the 1960s, millions of them were systematically killed and murdered. Yeah, he told me about that too, but I was like running late. So. And so it's like, <laughs> so this is so relevant because we have such a like never again star. holocaust yes, theme, but like yes. these people had it. But what is mind boggling to me, which I can't imagine why this is not in the news and not spoken about, yeah. is that like a large chunk, more than a, a fourth of the transatlantic slave trade came specifically from this one tribe. Mm -hmm. So how are we not starting to connect dots and being like, wait a minute. So the tribe in Africa that the government of Israel is fascinated with and, the, you know, enamored by is now the blood of those people flowing through the African-American community here which would make sense to me why they're all being like, we have an Israelite affinity where we're identifying this is us. We are this. And mm -hmm. so I'm like, so yeah, if the DNA of the blood of these people are in them, they have a valid claim to feel and say that. We the Hebrew Israelites. We was Israelites. Mm. There is a, a moral obligation to bring this information to the public now. Thank you, Sincere, for the video. Captures from dash cam inside of a cat. Whoa. Hold on, one more time, one more time, one more time. He picks the person up, but the person's not in the car. So he's driving all this way with nobody in the car. And then all of a sudden. Sound it out. Does it sound familiar? Nick, 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 Nick,
this is why I tell people to be careful what you're watching and what you allow your kids to watch. Because Nickelodeon is very much a part of the Illuminati. You can pause and read this where they had spoke about them using the eye, all-seeing eye in Thanksgiving. They did the all-seeing eye a lot in Spongebob. I remember that episode. And again and again and there it is in Dora. Now keep in mind all of these streaming platforms including these entertainment industry networks are used by the Illuminati exactly. And they all follow one god. Mm. Not to mention Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, and Disney are used to groom kids. They are used to groom kids because they start off early with the children. At first I was like, wait, I was gonna skip it because we had already just reacted to the whole Nickelodeon breakdown that you guys seen in my last previous reaction. But you see, she broke it down even more. She even had more pictures, gave an explanation, even gave out commentary. So again, I say that to say, never think because you already seen something, you know something, don't think to just skip it. They can possibly add more information to what you already know. Thank you, Paid, for the video. What's good with y'all? Today's video is about these sellouts that's in this so-called conscious community. Again, most people in this so-called conscious community is really not even tapped in. They really don't even do no work. They just put on crystals and get some and eat vegetables and think that they're enlightened. Again, fuck this feeling, bro. Most is really not tapped in just because they label this out spiritual they think that they've done the work but anyway let's get on with the rest of the video again this so-called conscious community is infiltrated with mass sellouts bro and the fact that y'all can't see it shows anyway the first one is him and again if you real life tapped in bro you know he really don't be talking about like who the still talk about mcdonald's bro again it's recycled information it's funny how he dropped the video about money but his whole shit is all about money bro in every single video he always says click the link in my bio Again, they only do this to make a living off y'all, bro. Just like I said before, he's on famous birthday. And he made it to before they were famous. Again, they only do this to make a living off y'all. Anyway, you know you're a sellout once you make it to no jumper, bro. Literally, just search up this video. But anyway, they're all sellouts, right? But if you go to one of his pictures, right? Take a look at his hand and his shoulders. Oh, dang. Again, they're all sellouts. The funny thing is, a lot of people be like, they be speaking truth, bro. The shit that they be talking about is weak. If you're real life tapped in, you know. Like, bro, they just recycle information, bro. Again, even he's a sellout, and they don't really care about giving you real knowledge, bro. They just want to make a living off y'all. Bro, they that just be using y'all, bro. All they do is speak a little bit of recycled so-called truth just to get to where they want to get to. Again, there's even more sellouts, bro. I've been talked about this. Even she's a sellout. Like, all they do is talk about some weak ass, bro. Again, bro, they're all sellouts. Also, I exposed Ralph Chosen last year and peeped this. Again, they're only finessing y'all. Even them three that you see down there be finessing y'all. Vong, so called woke Dave, bro, and Vong Intelligent. This is one of the reasons they had a tour. Hold on, what cities was they in? Miami, Dallas, Houston, and LA. Hold on. <laughs> Who went to this? No, I, I really want to know, like, how... I'm not coming for them. I just want to know how was it. Vong Intelligent. This is one of the reasons why Vong made that video called The Hamster Real Prima Saint to Off Yourself because he literally got what he wanted, bro. Again, bro, all these is demons, bro. They don't care. And I'm pretty sure 99% of y'all watched that video. Also, I already know there's going to be some retards in the comments saying why am I trying to cause separation. Like, bro, if they're sellouts, bro, why would you not call them out, right? And a lot of people's way too weak in their emotions, bro, to even say some Like, literally, bro, if you know that there's sellouts in the so-called conscious community, why would you stay quiet? But anyway, y'all get the point, bro. There's literally mad sellouts, bro, and they really don't be speaking truth. Also, one more thing. The fact that beings keep going to external energy for some type of knowledge or comfort shows that they're not tapped in. Again, bro, everything on the external level is only showing you what's within. Nothing exists aside of self-realization. So again, bro, the world prize is within this vehicle where the soul's in. What the? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Bro, what? what are you? When I tell you, like, the world getting wicked out here, because at first when you see it, it's like, oh, it's a baby chicken or it's a little bird. But then what is, what is this? What is this? Like at this point, the world just making anything, and then 
Oh, that's just weird. I don't know. Thank you, DeAndre, for the video. I heard a new term on TikTok today that made me stop in my tracks. Pretty yeah. eyes. This guy believes we are not just living in worse than the Great Depression. We're living in the silent depression. The average annual huh. income in 1930 for an American individual was a little over $4,800. Sounds like nothing. But if you adjust that for inflation, a little over $4,800 a year in 1930 That's is a lot. Yeah. almost $85,000 annually for the average salary for one, one person. person. Right now, the average annual salary is $56,000 a year. We currently are making less than the height of the great that's depression. crazy in 1930 gas was on average 10 cents a gallon that would be about a dollar 73 in case you haven't filled up your car lately average cost of a gallon of gas is three dollars and 55 cents to buy a new car in 1930 would have been about 860 dollars worth about 15 grand the average cost of a new car today is $48,000. Yeah. And yeah. of course, the most coveted aspect of the American dream, being able to buy a house in 1930, cost about $3,900, less than $70,000. I spend way too much time on Zillow, so maybe this isn't surprising to me, but the average price of a home in America today is $416 thousand dollars how could we be living through worse <sighs> cost of living and wages than 1930 and no politician no media outlet right right no one right is talking about it that's bidenomics it's about growing an economy by strengthening the middle class no because let's talk about it this is why this how do i say it this generation is depressed i don't want to use that word but i don't know what else to call it it's a lot of things that play a role too but it really is due to this inflation inflation is a silent killer inflation prices is going up meaning money is not meaning anything the fact that gas was that cheap back then the fact that homes were that cheap to buy even though it was a lot back in that time but in today's time that would everybody would be living everybody would be larger in charge if we had those type of prices you guys gotta look back at how much a hundred dollars would have got you at a grocery store compared to now i think a hundred dollars now is like five things in walmart if you want to talk about real g's moving in silent <laughs> inflation thank you retro for the video i'm the richest man who's ever lived on the planet earth mm. and this is widely acknowledged it's widely acknowledged is a black man okay he was called uh, mensa he was a king mensa musa mensa musa yes he was a king from mali mm. and he once went on a pilgrimage to mecca mm. okay he was and he gave Everywhere he went, would give someone gold. And not a gold crane pen. Gold bar. Boom. <laughs> Boom, yeah. He was making it rain. Yo, yo, he made it rain. <laughs> he said that when, when, when Mensa Musa passed through Egypt, mm. he bankrupted the Egyptian economy. Because every poor person he saw, he gave them gold. Now, how does an economy function? An economy... Let's, let's go back to the history. The word economia, mm. Latin root, means the study of lack. You cannot have an economy if someone is not lacking. Yeah. Because he cancelled the lack in Egypt, he bankrupted the economy because money could not flow. Money typically flows from someone who is wealthy to someone who is poor or from someone who's poor or someone who is wealthy there's that diffusive movement of money that is necessary for an economy to exist the moment you find an equilibrium you cannot have an economy and the system needs that to survive mm. so we've also been taught forget about your brother forget about your sister rise climb that mountain pull the ladder keep the economy going mm. You've got my head spinning, yeah? That's why they hated our commonwealth in Africa. Shaka Zulu. We were fine. Vibrant economies which were trading with each other, but they were not built on lack. Mm. Our economies built on were lack. built on wealth. Abundance. Abundance. Mm. It's called riches in French. Mm. Our African economic model was built on wealth giving birth to more wealth mm. and giving birth to more wealth so we had a totally different spin on how we see money mm. 
You saying something? And then they came and said, no, 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 no. You're messing it up. No, no, no. We come from a place where there's lords and there's paupers. Who are the lords around here? And then they gathered all the lords and then they started teaching them their ways. Of course. So, so that's the whole point. Alternative thinking is all we need, Pen. We can turn around our countries, turn around everything, but we don't want it. We don't love ourselves. We don't trust ourselves. We don't embrace ourselves. We we don't travel. We don't see. We don't speak. We don't hear. I like that video. That was wisdom, but now I'm really like understanding how like knowledge is truly power. Like I didn't understand that quote, but the older I'm getting, the more I'm understanding it. Thank you, Akiva. Godola Akiva for the video. I got another good one for you. Another bank secret they don't want you to know have you ever been denied credit did you ever apply for something using your social security number and the bank or the company said no well how rude <laughs> given the fact that the entire consumer transaction is predicated on your unlimited credit how rude Here's the code. Title 15, subsection 1611. False and misleading denial of my own credit. Yes. And for extra, extra sauce, ask to speak to the underwriter and give the underwriter that code. See what happens. Tell the underwriters you want a listing of all of the factors that were involved in this consumer transaction. It is not a credit transaction. It is a consumer transaction because you wanted to access a portion of your unlimited credit. Hmm. Don't cry over spill milk. You gotta go and take your power back. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm giving you all that I can on a public forum. Please do not ask any million and one question. Go and take what I give you and run with it. Meaning, do your own research and then come back here and get us what you discovered. Okay? I gave you code. I gave you what to say. I gave you who to ask for. So... Do you have I access my unlimited credit? Yes, I have. But I can't go into it here. Again, it's a public forum. And uh, I don't want a target on my back. It's already on my back. I mean, it's already, it's already, my name is already out there. But I have to do this in a responsible way that protects you and protects me. It just amazes me how we don't know this information, but because I'm like in my head when I'm watching the video, I'm thinking, how come my 11th grade year, my 12th grade year, shoot, college years, why didn't I learn this stuff? Like, was I not listening? Was I like finessing? Like, what was I doing? No, I was listening because one thing about me, I'm going to listen. It's the fact that we weren't taught stuff like this. It's the fact that they teach you the stuff to keep you up under them because they make money off of you and vice versa. They're not gonna teach you the stuff that's gonna get you ripped apart from the system. They wanna keep you in the system. So it just amazes me every day when new information comes out about stuff like this because my ears be open because I'm just, I'm hurt, I'm tired, I'm, I'm sad, I'm annoyed with the fact that I don't know this information. But again, it just goes back to that one quote, knowledge is power and some of the stuff is not going to be out there but shout out to these people that do give out the secret gems and the tips because then it gets me going then it gets my engine going so then now i'm like okay we didn't got this now what about this i promise you there's a code or a secret or a bypass to everything in life we just have to sit down do the research read and figure it out ourselves or we have people like this that spill the tea so shout out to y'all i work for a large hospital system in Broward County, Florida, on the anesthesia team. Last night, the house nurse manager came to my department 
and told us that we must prepare for a crisis that's going to start next week. And they're going, the hospital will be taking part of our recovery unit, anesthesia recovery unit, to house patients. And that we should, that we cannot allow surgical patients' families to come visit them, which we do pre and post surgery, pre and post anesthesia. And I looked at her and I said, how do you know we're going, you're going to need our, our rooms? Right, right, right. Our bays. And how do you know there's going to be a crisis next week? She tilted down her glasses. She looked at me. Not the... And she said, you know what's going on by now. And I said, yeah, I do. And everyone else just went, oh, here we go again, and shrugged their shoulders. Does anyone else find this really strange besides me? It's about time that this whole corrupted, stinking system is brought down. Seriously. Because I'm really hating my job right now. I can't stand this corruption anymore. Please share. Let me tell y'all, this came right on time. I had just made myself like some eggs and I had got some meat, like three slices of meat, turkey meat. I'm in the room and my mom is like, don't eat that. I'm like, why? It's in the house. Like, it's not expired. She's like, no, 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 We're not eating processed, you know, meat or turkey meat no more. I'm like, why? She's like, it's not good for you. When I tell you your whole is going to come through every single time, this video was sent to me a very long time ago, a couple months back. Why is it that I'm now reacting to it today, the day I find out that I can't eat the meat? They took pink slob, diced it up, put it in some type of refrigerator slash oven, and then used the machine to cut it. And now that's processed meat. What are we eating? Cause that's not meat that came from an animal. That's something that y'all didn't create in the lab and we're putting that into our bodies. Processed meat is not the wave. And I know I'm gonna have my people that's like, meat period is not the wave. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I'm just, let's just focus on one step at a time. You know what I'm saying? You skip your steps. Right now we on step one. Thank you, Retro, for the video. Here's some of the greatest conspiracy theories of all time. Part four. The Grinch has a well-known backstory about hating Christmas. However, eventually in the movie, his heart grows three sizes and he loves Christmas once again. But this story may continue longer than we think. It is clear that the Grinch isn't exactly right in the head, but during one of the Grinch's wacky stunts, he could have gotten a head injury. This injury would later take a toll on him as he grew old and caused him to lose his memory. After him and his dog died, they were given a new life in a realm called Halloween Town where they now lived as Jack Skellington oh, and Zero. Wow. He later reunites with his love for Christmas, just like he had when he was alive. Both eventually wear a Santa suit, both deliver presents, and both have a doll companion. It may be possible that How the Grinch Stole Christmas and The Nightmare Before Christmas are tied together. This movie is closer to reality than we think. I love this movie. <laughs> Shout out to my mom. They Look, live is cold. We're in trouble. The whole world's in trouble. They're all around us and we never knew it. You can only see them with these special glasses. I swear to you, we're being controlled by these things. I don't know what they are or where they came from, but we right. gotta stop them. All right. Peep this, y'all. <laughs> Can you... What? Peep if you that. want me to look through your sunglasses, I'll look through your sunglasses. If I don't see what you see, I'm gonna see it anyway. Look! No you thought. the first son of a bitch to wake up on the TV. TV. I want them to show the billboards. Now the full of bitterness and curses. And in their paths, nothing but ruin and misery. And the fear of God not before their eyes. They have taken. 
taken the hearts and minds of our leaders. They have recruited the rich and the powerful. Mm. They have blinded the truth. Our human spirit is corrupt. Did you see? Why? I'm a bad person. Because outside the limit of our Kicked on top of us from birth to death are our owners. Our owners. They have us. When I tell you that movie is powerful, I may have to watch it again for the one time just to watch it, just because I want to refresh my memory on this movie. But I was saying, show the billboard. So, for example, right here. So they live. It's no need for me to explain what the movie is about because it already kind of expressed what it is. For those that want to wake up to the truth on what they're doing to us and around us watch they live again the movie is called they live as you can see the lady's buying stuff and the bag says no thought because you're not thinking when you buy it you're just like oh it looked cute it looks good but it's no thought behind it it's just what you see so you see something you're gonna buy it but there's no thought like well is this gonna last me five to ten years is this worth it uh and then when you start thinking about your time for the money that you made, it, it don't compare. Some people live a lifestyle where they're like, okay, if this is $90 and let's just say I make $10 an hour, I'm spending nine hours of my time to buy this product. Does that, I pray that that makes sense. But there's people that live with that mindset, which is deep. I've been trying to get my mind to get there and I'm not saying it's not there, but when you look at it that way, that may help some people out. So anyways, so she bought something and it's saying no thought. This was money. Do you see the money? And then he puts the glasses on but the message behind it is that this is your God. It is so true, y'all. It's Oh my God, this movie just gets deep. So here is like advertisements in this hair place where the, where the women get their hair, or hair salon, I should call it. So they're reading the magazine, it says obey. And then right here it says stay asleep because this is the stuff that they're putting behind all these magazines, these advertisements. They don't mean nothing. At the end of the day, if it's to control you, that's what they're gonna put out there. They're never gonna put out reliable or informative information to keep you awake. No, they want you to stay asleep. Watch the movie. I know you're like, all you did was just show us the pictures and then said with the picture. No, it, it's because it, the movie is deep. Shout out to my mom because I, I'm into like the new generation movies. Like I like those type of movies. When I see this movie, I said, mom, this is like made in like the 1900s. Like I just can't. She played that movie. And when I tell you my eyes was the whole time was the whole time because it was so much truth in gems. And what's crazy is I love the quote that he said, they're all around us. They've been here this whole time. It just took for us to wake up to see it. And what has to be a realization is that some people will not wake up to this stuff. So if you're woke, congratulations. Or if I should say you're awake, congratulations, because a lot of people do not make it to this step. You will be called crazy. You will be done dirty. You will be the, the black sheep of the family, just all types of stuff. But remember who went through that first? Yahusha. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying, y'all? So just know when you're going against the grain, people are going to hate, people are going to call you crazy, but just remember who went through it first. The Denver airport undergrounds are no longer a mystery. Yes, you heard that right. Right, About right, three right. weeks ago, Jeffrey Donson, a man from Ohio, embarked on a mission to uncover the hidden depths of the airport. Jeffrey knew the existence of five underground levels closed to the public. Determined, he prepared a plan, creating a fake badge and construction vest. Wild. From Ohio to the airport staircase, Jeffrey's anticipation grew. But upon reaching the underground levels, a closed door blocked his path. Determined, he decided to wait for the perfect moment, when someone would open the door from the inside. Three hours later, and after almost giving up, his persistence paid off as someone finally opened the door from the inside, granting him entry. What Jeffrey discovered inside will leave you speechless. He discovered a vast laboratory with water containers with animals and humans. After a brief exploration, Jeffrey knew it was time to leave. When he got home, he posted pictures of his finding online, but within minutes they were taken down. Despite numerous attempts to locate Jeffrey for interviews by the media, he vanished without a trace. Subscribe for part two. A new deadly is at our doorstep. Get ready to be shocked. The new threat comes in the form of an unknown more lethal and more contagious than anything we have experienced before. If confirmed, we could potentially face another period of global confinement or possibly something even worse. 
The Director General of the World Health Organization has urged countries worldwide to prepare for the next warning that future health emergencies could be even more severe than the hmm. During a meeting at the World Health Organization in Geneva, he stated that still poses a threat, but it is not the only one we might face. He also emphasized the threat of another emerging variant that could lead to new waves of the disease and deaths, as well as another with an even higher potential for mortality. This announcement is indeed alarming, especially after years of restrictions. One thing is certain, we will need to demonstrate resilience in the years to come. Did you know that the shoes that we wear are probably the most detrimental thing to our physical and our emotional health? And I'm gonna tell you why. Now, Dang. back in the day, we used to wear wooden or wool shoes because it would not interfere with our connection to the earth. And it wasn't until a short time ago that rubber shoes were introduced, and I believe this was done purposely by Big Pharma and the elites to intentionally sever the connection with us and the earth. Now, not a lot of people know this, but every single system in the entire human body that we can measure all goes back to normal when we are grounded. And being grounded simply means that we are connected to the earth through the soles of our feet. Think about it, all the electricity that we use works the most efficiently by being grounded to the earth. <laughs> so why would we be any different? We are electrical beings. Now what happens when we touch the earth is our body instantly saturates with electrons. And these electrons coat our red blood cells so they repel each other. Which means the blood viscosity goes down, it's easier for the heart to pump blood. Then blood pressure goes down and all sorts of cardiovascular issues are resolved just by putting our feet on the ground. And this is just one benefit. There are thousands of studies that have shown that earthing reduces inflammation in the body, which is at the root of most diseases. It's also proven to increase your sleep cycle, reduce stress by balancing cortisol levels and many more health benefits. This is why it always feels good to be outside with your bare feet on the ground. Now, I'm not saying that society should go shoeless. We're way past that point now, but I am saying that we need to be way more conscious of how much we are grounded. I'd say about 20 minutes a day will keep the doctor away. Peace and love. I miss summer. I do, because that was something I actually did all summer. I would love to do it now, but it's a little cold outside. It's not the, the weather that you go and you take your shoes off and you walk the grass. It's just, it's not that type of weather. Y'all know the women were built from Adam, but Adam was made from the ground, the dust of the earth. Um, so going back to what we came from, and it's so funny because when you think about it, when you die, where does your body go? Back in the ground where it came from. So this grounding is like, it's biblical significance, in other words. I would just said all that to say is that that was something I did. Is that something that you guys do? Do you guys think it's silly? Does it sound crazy to you? I will just say this, when I was doing that, I wasn't sick revelations was coming i just felt good i don't know if it's like a mental thing i can't tell you but i just i felt that there was benefits for me be careful with your iphone as there is a theory that suggests it is a subtle symbol of the antichrist indeed some argue that the i in the name iphone refers to the eye a symbol often associated with surveillance and control and this is where the theory becomes truly intriguing the iPhone has the ability to hear and observe nearly everything you say and do constantly. It is constantly listening. And what about Siri? It turns out that if you spell Siri backwards, you get Iris. The Iris is not only a part of the I, but also the name of the Greek goddess of messengers, a bridge between humanity and the gods. If you flip over your iPhone and look at the back, you will see the famous Apple logo, an apple with a bite taken out of it. This reminds many of the forbidden fruit from the Garden of Eden, the instrument Satan used to tempt humans and lead them to commit the original sin. Thus, the iPhone, this ever-present device displaying the symbol of original sin, could indeed be a sign of evil incarnate. I know I react to a similar video like that a long time ago, and I know I debunked the whole apple because we know if you go on back and you read the Bible that it never specified what fruit Eve ate of at all. So everyone's assumption was an apple. I don't even know where that came from. I don't know why everyone has an assumption that it's an apple. Like I've never heard nobody say, oh, she ate a pear or she ate an orange or a nectarine. They always go to apple. But what I want to say is I know I said all that and debunked it, but after hearing this and knowing that there's no such thing as coincidence, Steve Jobs, I almost call him Steve Gates. Wow. Steve Jobs was onto something because 
Siri, like, I just, that's not a name that you just say by accident. Like, that's something that you had to, like, really think and come up with. But when you think about it, like he said, when you flip it, it's iris, the I. And then on top of that, you're using a fruit that's bitten into. What I'm trying to say is, is that these people, we know that they have wicked ways, wicked tendencies, but the one thing that they all know is the Bible. Think about that. But eat, look, even Hostan know the word. Hostan is Satan. So that's just how it is i guess when you have to know your your enemy or what you're trying to you're, you're trying to play defense on you have to know your get to know your offense their moves their strategies gotta know how they moving so i guess it makes sense on why they would know the bible and why they study it so much i know i debunked the whole apple thing but after hearing it with the iris being siri backwards with the fruit being bitten of because you could have just had a whole just apple logo you could have but you had one where the bite is taken out of it it's just is is real interesting then you call it an iphone just just food for thought i was gonna go ahead and record more i was gonna go ahead and end it there but that don't mean that i'm done for the day i still gotta react to some more videos but shout out to everyone that has sent in videos i truly 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 appreciate it let me know which one was you guys favorite in the comments down below y'all let me know if you guys want hour long reactions it's not a problem it's just that y'all just get less frequent uploads so y'all let me know what y'all want merch is out link is in the description shopperky.com shopperky.com had to say that with emphasis on there because i sound a little boring again if you cop it please take a picture dress to impress because when you tag me you're going to be featured on my website along with your at name on there. If you don't believe me, go on shopperky.com and you already see a bunch of people who have already done so. All esteem, all glory, all honor goes to my Lord Yahuwah and my Adonai Yahushua Hamashia for blessing me with everything. I'm just a vessel that they're working in and through, so got to give credit and honor where it's due. Shout out to all you guys as well. I truly appreciate it. Y'all have a blessed one. I'll see y'all in the next one. Shalom, shalom. You can't bring me down. I know who I belong to. Yeah. Why? I won't sell my soul, I know my worth